All right, welcome back to my holiday kitchen. I don't know if you can see the weather outside right now, but we got a skiff of snow this afternoon and it's looking, it's looking holiday-ish out there. And that makes me happy. So what we're gonna be making today is my um, favorite green jello salad. And I think if I, I, yep, that's what it was. My mom made this growing up and it's called Jello Salad Supreme. But in our family, we call it Green Jello Salad. <laughs> and it is my favorite. It's a very old recipe. I think it's from one of my mom's uh, church cookbooks um, when she first got saved. And she got saved in 78 or 79, I think. Um, so it's an older recipe and the lady who submitted it to the cookbook was an older lady. So it's probably even older than that. But, um, anyway, it's very easy, but it's a nice balance between some, the sweetness of the jello and pineapple and Cool Whip and then, um, like the saltiness of some, Miracle Whip and cottage cheese, which I know sounds weird, but go with me. It is really, really, really good. And normally you put chopped pecans in this, salted chopped pecans in this, or salted chopped walnuts. But due to my nut allergy um, and Brian's nut allergy, we won't be doing that part. But it's just as good without the nuts, but it's and it's very good with the nuts. So either way, I'm just waiting for my happy little kettle to get up to temperature. This is my first time using it, so I wasn't sure how long it would take, but it's 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 climbing pretty quick. So what we have here in this bowl is a six ounce package of green jello. Um, the six ounce package is the bigger package. It's the family size, or you know, just buy two smaller boxes, but you do need the full six ounces. And as soon as my happy little kettle is up to 220, um, we will be adding a cup and three quarters of hot water. The reason I'm just doing a cup and three quarters is I actually use 20 ounces of crushed pineapple for the cold water um, after we do the hot. And that's just a little over two cups. And so we still want the, the jello to set. So we're just going to do a cup and three quarters. Okay, she's at 200. So just a few minutes. But um, this is a neat little trick. I do this in a lot of my jello salads that would normally call for cold water. I just use the juice of whatever fruit I'm putting into the, the um, jello salad because it just gives it a nicer flavor, um, a very um, rich flavor. And I can hear it's boiling now. And yes, it's up to 220. So we're going to pull my kettle off. And they do this wrong for right-handed people. But we're going to get it up to a cup and three quarter. Good. Perfect. Let me put my kettle back. Okay, so just add that hot water right in. Just save that because I'll be doing another jello here in just a second. And you're just going to stir this until the jello is completely dissolved. Um, that's partly why I like using a, a spatula to um, stir with because you can feel when the graininess is gone. I just love the smell of jello too. It's so fake, but <laughs> it smells so good. And green jello is one of my favorites. I, um, I'm not a big strawberry jello fan, but I love all the citrus ones, orange, green, uh, lime and lemon. I love how we refer to the flavors as colors. The only red jello I like is cherry or black cherry specifically, but 
Black cherry is hard to get your hands on now. I know because of my pretzel salad I'm making. You can get it in the pre-made little cups, but you can't get it in the boxes, at least not from Walmart here in Pocatello. Okay, so once we have that done, and it is all dissolved now, it's nice and smooth and slick feeling on the bottom, then we're going to add our 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. So just add that right in. Oh, now my dog is going to think someone's here. It was me, Zatsu, stop. Okay, just like that. And now all we do is we let that sit in the fridge and set up. And I'll come back later to show you the rest. Hello and welcome back to my holiday kitchen. I know that this is technically another segment of a video I already started, but it's a whole nother day. I was too tired last night when I came home from church to finish up the jello salad. So it's Thanksgiving. We have a beautiful white Thanksgiving, which I'm really happy about because I'm not sure we'll have a white Christmas. We rarely do. Seems like it always dumps snow like the day or after Christmas or so, but what can you do? Anyway, um, so happy Thanksgiving to you all, even though you'll probably be watching this in December. <laughs> okay, um, we're finishing the jello salad. So I put up my jello salad in a little bit wider bowl um, to sit in the, uh, not the jello salad, the jello in a wider bowl to sit in the fridge overnight. So now that that's nice and set up, we're just going to scoop, oh, no, not this bowl. This is my serving bowl. This is the bowl I want. Okay. We're going to just scoop this in. Sorry, babe. I should try to, there we go. Not make it totally hard for you to, and it's set up really nicely. That's great. And then I just kind of break it up a little bit so I don't have to over stir it once I put the rest of the ingredients in. Um, it's, this is, oh, it smells so good. Mm. It just smells like Thanksgiving to me because we grew up eating this almost every single Thanksgiving. Okay, now to this, we're going to add a, let's see what size was that? It's a little guy. 16 ounce, 16 ounce tub of cottage cheese that I have run through my sieve to get out some of the extra moisture so that the jello salad doesn't get watery. So we'll add that to there. And then we're going to add about two thirds cup of, oh man, this is really hard for you today, isn't it? It's okay. There we go. <laughs> Oh, we're tired. Two thirds cup of um, Miracle Whip. So cottage cheese and Miracle Whip. And I know that sounds really gross. And I'm not even a Miracle Whip fan. I actually don't like it. But it tastes really good in this salad. Can and you substitute mayo? No. I mean, I've never tried. But Miracle Whip and mayonnaise taste so differently. That I, knowing what the Miracle Whip brings to this salad, like I take being able to taste it on my palate, I would say that mayonnaise would taste really gross. It just probably make it taste fatty. I don't know what I do. Okay, so this looks really, really good. This looks right. I was able to get a lot of that. You don't have to. The recipe doesn't say to strain the cottage cheese. But I do it for my cheesecakes, and so it gave me the idea one time, because the first day, the second day, this is good. That by the third day, it starts weeping a little bit, and um, so I thought, I wonder if I see the cottage cheese, if that would get some of that weepiness out, and it really does. It really does. So... I highly recommend it, although it's not necessary. And especially if you're making it and you know 
we're probably going to eat this all in one sitting. Let me grab a spatula real quick. Okay. Now the final step is to, once I've got that nice and mixed up, the final step is to just add, oh, it's probably a little less than eight ounces of Cool Whip. Um, not a lot less, but you could, the recipe, the original recipe calls for eight ounces. I just like it a little bit less Cool Whippy. And you're just, I think you've probably noticed the way I'm doing this is I'm just folding this in. You don't want to beat the tar out of it. You want to keep as much of the jello salad together as you can. Okay, and remember, like I said, this is something you could definitely, this is, if you're going to put in the salted chopped pecans or the salted chopped walnuts, this is where you do it right here you fold them in at this point um and it is very delicious with those there's part of me that really really misses them okay so now that's our jello salad supreme all we're gonna do now is just put it into a grab my bowl a little bit with my finger put it into a oh you can see a stripe of jello i kind of missed well that's oh guess what that means ladies and gents, now we're making a rustic jello salad. <laughs> Anytime things don't turn out the way you want them to, just say, oh, I meant it that way. It's rustic. Okay, and I have, like, when I've really been fancy, I have put, um, beaten some real cream, real heavy cream with a little bit of powdered sugar in it to stabilize it. And I've piped it on there and decorated the top with maraschino cherries. So it looks really pretty and fancy. But today is a home style Thanksgiving for us, just my folks and, and us. And so um, we're not being fancy. <laughs> anyway, so other than that, the only thing I can say to you is I love you, we love you, God loves you, and God's got this.